Yeah. Read it again, baby. Let's stop. First one. The first one? Mm hmm. Watch this. A proud look. This is what we do a proud look. What we say, pride moves. This is what pride does. Pride has metastasized and no longer is a heart issue. It's a, it is a, a uh, personality trait, it is a demeanor. It is a uh, almost like a, a visual concept. I hate people that. Well, God said it. But I hate people. I just hate that image. Just a proud look of proud for look. Now, Lucifer never slept with, done anything with anybody. So my question is, what sin did he commit that made him that, that cost him his his rights and privileges that <clears throat> that he did? He got the faith that he got, the plight that he got. No longer is he available to be in God's presence forever. What did he do? Huh? What did this idiot do that made God say, you're going to burn forever? What did this idiot do to make God say, I've detached myself from you and everything like you, and no longer will you be welcome in my presence? Here's the thing about God. Look at Satan. To be in God's presence and to be rejected, the blessings still carry on up to the day of judgment. Satan is still blessed. He's still working his gifts. Only God has that kind of only God I heard this this is good saying. Only God is the kind of boss that will fire you and let you keep working. Mm -hmm. Saul was fired before David ever took it. Sitting on the throne was fired before David ever took the seat to the king. What's that? Oh, what you want? Oh, you got to get fired by five times, I tell you. Mm -hmm. you, you fire me you yeah, you get fired, man. But you got to keep working. Why? Right. I really, you know what? It's. It's, it's hard to describe. I think it's a self analysis, and we've all seen it. People that are just prideful with their looks. How they, what kind of car they have, what house they live in, how they dress, and how they carry themselves. Just a pride. God said, I hate even the look. You, you sit there thinking it's okay. Black pride, white pride, gay pride. Pride, pride. But I'm blessed! That's what we say. And I know that God will continue to bless you. But you've been fired. Tell us when you lift your hands, let pride go. Do it like it's hitting the ball. Right. Huh? What's that? What did I say? What did I just say? Yeah, he'll still bless you, but he'll fight you. Look at this. God is not the kind of God that, cut you off until the day of reckoning uh, uh, where you have to pay for that. There's no more day of atonement. Jesus paid the blood, but if you don't accept him and walk in grace and walk in the way that God wants you to walk in, you'll be fired. <clears throat> now, your plight may not be like Lucifer, so you can live forever, but you can be fired out of your assignment. Lose effectiveness. Lose authority. People will come into your house and kick you out. People will come into your place of business and manipulate and control you to where you can no longer own what you own. How many want to work hard for something and lose it because of your pride? Wow. Wow. Not know me. I mean, you won't work hard for a car and then somebody tell you how to drive it. That's called police. <laughs> because the United States is full of pride. Somebody telling you how to drive it. If not so, we're supposed to police ourselves with the king. Right. We're supposed to be free. Right. The law that God has established within us keeps us safe. But now pride says, move them out the way we want them. Now we are upon the taskmasters and they telling us what to do with our time space. You work hard all your life for a house and don't pay your taxes or they want that land. They 
It's over with. You don't really own what you think you own. Hello, somebody. Go to the next one, baby. Lying tongue. A lying tongue. This don't, listen, some people, this may in here, but I, it may not fall upon anyone in this room. But I do know people who are into a lot of this. Compulsive. Yeah. It's almost like <clears throat> unnecessary life. Ain't even in trouble. Ain't even about to get no whooping or nothing. They're straight up lying for no reason. Man, I went to Burger King the other day, and man, they had no ketchup. Man, Burger King called me and was like, man, can you bring me oh, some ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting ready to get paid, man. You know who called me for it, man? What, what you lying for? <laughs> <laughs> Lines and ketchup. And y'all women done heard it all. The BBs. <laughs> Ben, BBs? Get by the body and juicy juicy and gang gang and Gucci. <laughs> you better get all that. Where you at? I was studying. <laughs> Stop lying! I'm going to party, Dad, Mom. I'm going to do this. Let them deal with the truth. That way they know how to pray. Amen. Going to the hotel to get motel. Tell the truth. And here's the one when a man get caught red-handed cheating. Wasn't me. Yeah, wasn't me. <laughs> she was lost, man. 
maid. That was good. Bro. Why she in the bed though? She was sleeping. Why her clothes off? I had to wash them. Why you had to wash her clothes? She fell at the door before she came in. I was like, my wife ain't gonna. And be lying right tonight. Get these stuff together like lying. Lying on this. That's right on the spot. Like you like that got to be the truth. And the woman be like. I understand. I was wrong about it. There you go. The hand, the hand. Yeah, you know, she wants something to eat, babe. And he be in there like, yeah, cook us something to eat. Mercy. That's a mess. That's an episode. That's an episode. That's an episode of the old show. What's the next one? Read the next one, babe. Come on. These are the things God hates. And I noticed. If I hold on, let me do this. You see that? I'm gonna hold. Let let us see this. He got it first. Get to it. I saw it first. No, you ain't saw it. Get to it. I saw it. You messing up my thing. You got to move fast. Get to it. Now, how come I know I picked up none of this stuff? I told him not to touch it. Did I say what this thing was? Okay, I'm going to say this. I'm going to take it off. This stuff. She said, now don't you be up there doing all that talking now. You, you got a lot of energy this morning. You better don't do all that talking. And I'm going to say this in the close. Let me get to my point. And we're going to do what we got to do. <clears throat> Innocent blood. Why you want to chill? Why you so bloodthirsty? What is that that people just want to share? Police brutality is a classic case point and example of people shedding innocent blood. Absolutely. Absolutely. God say you hate this, and you say you love God? Get the hell out of here. Get, get the heaven out of here. You're not going to pull syrup on crap and make it pancakes to me. Right. Right. A man got his hands up. He got his hands stuck up in the air. He can still talk. He can still show some form of aggressive defense. I know my rights, sir. Bah! What? Right. I don't make it home because of a traffic violation. I don't make it home. Y'all see that whole George Floyd thing? Yeah. That not sickening? I want the world to hear that we're sick 
and fed up with people representing God and representing us, but are so quick to shed innocent blood. Right. Boy, if I, boy, if I sit in the living room, Pastor Terry, in there with, with, with the meaning. Yeah. I'll say a few choice things. Yes, sir. The murderer don't like to be murdered. The raper, talking about the predator, do not like to be preyed upon. The molester don't want his children molested. Yeah. But. but it's happening. You know what though? This is what I think. These are my thoughts. When you when you eliminate uh, Revelation 12, 12, get it right, quick. Get it, Pastor Terry. 12 and 12. When you eliminate fear, God is not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a what? All right, when you eliminate the fear of death, <coughs> what else do they have? Go ahead, read it, babe. Watch this. Therefore, rejoice. Rejoice. Ye heavens. Ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them. And ye that dwell in the heavens. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and what? the sea. Yes. For the devil is come down to you. The devil is come down to you. Saying, whoa, whoa means what? Warning. Warning. to pay attention in detail to this, he got severe migraines. So I did severe migraines. They kind of lost like the, 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 the control of the ship, the ship, the spaceship that they were using. It, it lost all its power and self-navigation device. As soon as, the, as soon as the ship loses power, it's got a built-in earthbound navigation device that gets you back. That shut down. This man had to use all his expertise. He was an elite guy that they sought after. They sit in the space, but when he came back, the information that he had in him, he held it in him, didn't tell NASA, because he didn't document it, he just saw it. When he got back to Earth, <clears throat> he went looking for this stuff, it took him 40 years. He developed Parkinson's, but he couldn't no longer do research and gave it to his mentee, his entrusted mentee, and his mentee went to do further the research, 
found all kind of far gold, gold that wasn't even, even part of this, this uh, earth. Found all kind of stuff. In the sea. And they said that there's all matters of, and saw that there was a space, some type of UFO craft buried in the sea. And in his, in his, uh, was it dissertation or something like that? <clears throat> yeah. He, you know what he, he done? He documented that we are sharing life with shaped, shifting, uh, sharing this earth with shaped, shifting enemies who have adapted to our humanity. Yes, sir. Absolutely. The Bible tells us that, you know, that there are bodies terrestrial and bodies celestial. Okay? So he said, War unto the inhabitants of earth and sea that Satan come down to you. Now, you can, some people will say, well, you're going to go deep. I'm going to stay on the surface with it because I won't go that deep. You have to do a lot of research. So <clears throat> the earth, meaning anything that is dealing with this planet at all, the sea represents nation, ethnos. That's ethnos, a lot of nation, nationalities of people. He said, woe unto the earth and all its nations. Satan has come down to you. He has such a good short, he has, uh, go ahead, read the scripture, with great wrath. Watch this. Having great wrath, because yes. he knows he has but a short time. Satan knows I got a short time. Short time to do what? Short time before the end, the end of me. So I got to destroy as many people on the earth and many nations I possibly can by introducing them to what made me deplorable. I no longer can be in the presence of God. Y'all want to listen to this? Within the next maybe 20 years, we may see a rapture. Within 20, in the span of now, in 20 years, there's a possibility some catastrophic stuff. Well, I know some catastrophic stuff will happen to our country within five years. Absolutely. The battle of Armageddon, uh, God and Magog, we're in, we're in the crosshairs of Russia right now. And the Euro, <clears throat> the, the Bible speaks about how the Antichrist will come out of that Euro uh, uh, Roman Greco Empire. The Antichrist will come out of that. Why do you think that there's no change? You can't find change. Why do you think we're going to a moneyless society? Who's controlling that? Why do you think everything is about rights? Getting people all emotional. Distracting people. Or you think everything is about vaccination? What happened to that disease? What happened to it? Shut us in the house for a year. We all got almost got diabetes and glaucoma and everything. Eating all them Twinkies and Oodles and Noodles. Gorged out. Using up all that toilet paper. Mercy. What happened? <laughs> Are you here? You going home already? Let me move on. Go ahead, babe. Mm. Wait a minute. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, yeah. he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. No, you didn't read the, you didn't read the third part. He has such a... Having great wrath mm -hmm. because he knows that he has but a short time. Twelve and twelve. Mm -hmm. I agree with it. And it goes back to the one I just read. I go to... Uh, when they go, that's, that's twelve and keep going. And they overcame him. By the love of the Lord. That's twelve and twelve. And it overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Twelve eleven. Okay. Eleven. Yeah. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. You hear that? They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. How many have the blood of Jesus on your life? Yeah. In your life. Well and over. Okay? Yeah. And by the testimony. testimony. Testimony is an undeniable experience with God, past or present, who will sustain you from any future difficulties. That's what the testimony is. It cannot be denied. It's an undeniable experience. Do not put down your encounters with Christ. Listen to me. Do not put down <clears throat> what you experience with the Lord for psychological opinions. Because they're trying to say, why you going to worship Jesus? Jesus God, what have Jesus done for you? And I explained, Jesus said, I'm the way. Leave it at that. Jesus teach, Jesus teaches gospel so simplistic that we make it complex because we want him to be the best God out there. 
He better than Allah. He is Allah. He better than Buddha. He is Buddha. How did, how did they get here unless he created them? Now, I can't help they go sideways, but there are concepts and precepts in some of that teaching that is valid to our living. Church won't teach you that. They want, they want God to be the biggest God. Uh uh, Jesus is the best. <laughs> Jesus, my God, he, he is the best, but <coughs> Jesus is not really God's name. Come on. It's an English form of his name. Yes, sir. Somebody say a higher. A higher. A shah. A shah. A higher. A higher. That's God's name. And what does a high or shah high mean? It means I am that I am. I am. So Jesus said, I am the way. Yeah. So when you mention the name Jesus, he said, no, we no more after the flesh. And the way we worship him is in our living, not with our hands up. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. The true worship is not what you come up with the song that makes you synthesize you and makes you emotional to where you cry. Teach, Pastor! Because I did, I cried. I, there were songs that you put a song on right now, and it'll make me get emotional about Pastor Eric. Right, right, right. That's so sweet. Oh, wow. We, we. Oh, okay. Church. <laughs> Service is over. Dirty. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Taking pics with my phone. <laughs> Service is over. Everybody go home. <laughs> Somebody say, make him behave, Jesus. Jesus. Oh my God. <laughs> See, the kids don't understand that language. They'll be like, then yeah, some of them be right plugged into it. Thank you, Mama. But we make Jesus so grandiose and they send him away. Listen to what Jesus is teaching and not teach Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you, you teaching the gospel that Jesus didn't even teach. You trying to preach Jesus, but not what pre not what Jesus preached. He said, on the way, carry your monkey behind through the door. He said, that's all, that's all this is. I'm coming into earth not to be your superhero type God that you make me so gay. Put, put on the shirt now. I'm the best God ever. He's the bestest. And what did, what did, what's the name come up with that? The most bestest. The most bestest. One of the most bestest. Yeah, they 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 knew they knew we were gonna get that five dollar visa. Let's just put a little bit more. Oh, that was all in Jesus. Happy oh, Jesus! In Christ, most bestest. Twenty five days. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, help me, Jesus, help me. So 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Wouldn't be safe to say that we follow that way. They didn't walk out the spirit. They that live after Christ. Not preaching. Yeah. We got it backwards. Yeah. But when you start talking to religious people, you go hit the brick wall. And the Bible says, man want to be ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing we can do with that. Quick, and I'm learning this too. Quit getting in the base with people who have blockheads. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing get in. Yeah. They just got to grow up out of that. So yeah. don't waste your energy and time trying to. When you recognize they ain't receiving nothing, go on. Or cast your pearls before the swine. Move on, shake the dust from your feet. You will exhaust your energy and exhaust your creativity trying to change something that can't change, that don't want to change. Right. It ain't going to change. Look left and right and say, leave it alone. Leave that blank alone. Please leave it alone. Leave that blank alone, man. Leave it alone. People go into an early grave because of this. Jesus said, I'm the way. Just take the way. If I say, you ask, I say, how do I get, how, 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 how do I get to Carol Wiz? How, how, how do I get to Atlanta? How do I get to heaven? How? How do I get there? So, how? <laughs> when you die, you don't want to go trying to get there. You don't want to carry me there. You don't want to do that. How do I get there? I get, get on Russian Creek, go all the way down the end of the take the right off 585. 
Eighty five or what? Seven oh one, seventy something like that? Seventy seven, right? And it's right on the north and south Carolina line, right? Alright? So why would you try to get in a plane and go toward Texas? Trying to get the Carolines. That's what people do. They go all the way out the way to try to get to the spirit, the things of the spirit. They try to convince someone else that you got more of God than them. So somewhere to sit down. How can you have more Jesus than me? We were, we were all born with the with all the God we can have. What it is is you don't have more anointing, you have more articulation, and you have more education, and you have more influence and money. So what do we do? We, we classify people by status, and we're drawn to them, and we accept it socially. Wow. Because it's the norm to gravitate to someone who's got more than us. I'm here to tell you today, Reggie Rogers oh my. have more anointing than you. Oh my. I do not have more Jesus in you. I don't have more faith in you. I don't have more discipline in you. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. This is not a competition. Take the competition out of you. Yeah. Not a competition. I'm going from church to church. Why are you going over there? Because he mourned on it. She mourned on it. <laughs> I hate that so much. They can sing better. So, my lord, they keep eating that cauliflower with the kale and go to the bathroom real fast. Right. It's almost smell the same. Same stuff. Different days. You gotta lay down to sleep. You gotta do basic essential things. Don't make you better. The only one that should be blowing and tooting your heart is you. You should wake up in the morning and feel good about yourself. Say this with me. I don't care what I've been through. Y'all, I'm long winded because I got to help somebody in this room today. I don't care what I've been through. I still qualify for God's best. But I'm not better than you. Who is this calling me right now? now y'all know I'm in church. Anyway, you know. <laughs> he won't invite me to church. He don't know I'm a pastor, so. I, you know, I. I recognize this good fellow got good energy. I told my wife about it. And I don't tell people what I do because they put their knee down and be like, want to worship. I'm like, oh, it's Reggie. Right. Yeah, right. It's Reggie. Yes. Yeah, worship yeah. Thank you. And I told him, you don't trip out when you find out he's a, like a minister, doctor. You know, like nice. PhD, Cal Park, the type thing. And we just hang off. They want to just, you know, hang, man, I like to hang out with you. Nice. I was going up in there and trying to talk like I wasn't me. You know what I mean? He put on his, where he come from, his culture, I put on mine. I'm not ashamed of saying, what's up, man? Right. I'm Absolutely. comfortable doing that. Absolutely. And stay with it. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I know I didn't come from, how are you? How you doing today? I didn't come from that. Yeah, I'm like, man, God bless you. I didn't come from that. What to do? How you doing? And I'm telling you, people gravitate to authenticity. Anyway, yes, they do. anyway read that and let's finish it. Can read 11 again? No, go back to uh, 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 the pride. 12 or 6. The Bible says, while she's looking for that, godly exercise, uh, bodily exercise properly. We in here exercise to get your body right so you can step out and be lustful with people. You get your body right so you can have this sense of I'm better than you because you're fat and I'm not. Oh no. <laughs> you're big. And I think I like this term, uh, fat vegan. I don't like that. Or let's not use that term. Right? This is a process for all of us. I sit on I sit on that couch. I sit on that couch. <laughs> what do you think about it? Uh, that, that little I knew what you L L L But anyway, three great. I see it nobody picked up their battery and then box and that stick. And we use it all, right? Okay. <laughs> 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 we'll get that later. All right, go ahead. 
Yes. <laughs> 18. Yeah. A heart that devises wicked imaginations. All right, somebody said, don't control. The Bible says in, in, in uh, it says in uh, Corinthians, uh, I think it's 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. But y'all listening to me. 10 and 5, what does it say? Casting down every imagination and every high thing. Is up. Just listen, the enemy will sit in a corner and send a fiery dart. The first word for demon, the first when you say the word demon, the first syllable of the word demon, da, is that word da, da means thought. Demon, da, day, day, da, whatever you want to pronounce it, it means a thought. It, the enemy will send a thought first to gain access to your being. And what you're thinking is you thought that and you didn't. Your mind is a neutral place looking for influence. There's three people that's fighting for your mind. That's Satan. First of all, we're going to say God first. Then there's you. What you have to do is put in you the necessary things to make your flesh act a certain kind of way. You want to be an attorney? You got to put attorney stuff in there. You want to be a doctor? Put doctor stuff in there. You want to be a whore? Put whore stuff in there. You ever, listen, you ever, hear this, and I'm almost through. Listen to New York rappers. Yeah. Listen to them. Yes, sir. Let them be your favorite rappers. New York people from up north, let them be your favorite rappers. And be influenced by the music and be buying into it the whole nine yards. You would, you would have been raised on a pig farm. You would have been raised on a pig farm. Or in a garden with overall on, with no shirt, with back in your mouth, but you listening to New York music, you'll be like, yo, what's up, son? <laughs> yeah, what's up, B? What's up, Ma? You're going to talk like what you influence your mind with. You listen to a lot of gangster? You look at a lot of Scarface? A lot of belly? Yeah. You keep watching that over and over? Uh, and, 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 Narcos and all this stuff right here, watch it over and over again. Keep watching thought stuff all over again. Keep watching that stuff. Keep watching it. There ain't a woman in here ain't tried that. Stop it. No, the tree. You done thought it too. You just didn't know it. Okay. The, oh, the split worked in the thought now. The KJ like, what? Hey, hey, the men like, what just happened? That, that was a weak way of describing women. Mama, you ain't got to get up and go. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, huh? Go ahead. Got a question? Absolutely. Yeah. Amen. So you, 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 you think about it. As a man, think of his heart, so is he. Yeah. So when the, the imaginations come, you got to say, uh, what is it, hyperbole? The spirit that women are on now? You don't know what hyperbole is? No. That means she'll leave that man that don't have less to get that man that got more. Oh, Break cool. him. Don't even care nothing about it. It's all about her selfish. How do I get what I need? Opportunist ambition. Opportunist ambition. She will use whatever she got to get what she wants. And she will use a weak man to pay all her bills. She'll love it. Have somebody on the side. How perfect. She's detached. Not connected to nothing. Don't want to be connected. I just get my needs met. Mm. The reason why, she, why she's that way? Her mind has been programmed to do that. Most women don't want to submit to a husband. If you go back and you look at it, they won't submit to husbands, men, or anything else. Masculine. Go back and look at it, they, they mama did and their grandma did. That's what their mind was exposed to. So when you say submission, they look at submission as a devaluing something. Did 
devaluing her, breaking her down. So you got to cast down those imaginations. Every hot thing, <clears throat> bring it into captivity. The Bible says, act like the police of your mind. Act like the warden of your mind. Control what you let in, control what you let out. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you something. Your yeah. life is nothing. Your life work, you think your health is your wealth. Your mind is your wealth. You could be as healthy as a civil back gorilla. But lose your mind. They'll be wiping and feeding you and doing something everything. Taking you, handing you, you, you know, somebody will tell you sit down and shut up and you can't do nothing. This guy, uh, I was doing daycare, driving active daycare, and they found this guy, this this young uh, in a in nursing home. And uh, it was a talk that uh, one of the uh, residents, CNAs, was a man, black man. But he was <clears throat> going into a, I think she, the lady that had a stroke or something took place and debilitated her. She was gorgeous, beautiful. He was having, um, she was young too. He went in there and started having intercourse with her while he was keeping her. She, she pops up pregnant. She starts to, you know, they thought it was a tumor. Went in, found out that you don't have that tumor in about three months. You think that woman could defend herself? With all her beauty, her splendor, everything she got, you know, her, her tops, her bottoms, he had her way. She could not stop him. Oh, it ain't about your muscles, it's about your mind. Cast down the mat as soon as it come in, you can't live in my head. I charge a million dollars a second for you to stay in my head. Don't let it stay there, okay? We don't wait. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. You know what? People that's just so fast to get to mischief. <clears throat> Controversy with the pastor. Come over here and see what she's saying. <clears throat> Controversy with the church. What? And I don't need nobody in this church running to nobody that leaves. Don't try to be the counselor. Don't try to be the, the, the ear. They, they, they reason. And, you know, let them go. You go. <laughs> if you try to keep them here, they're not going to tear you up. They Amen. All, everything we got going on. Right? Come on. Yeah. That's their way of saying I don't fit. I don't belong. And it's that's not okay. personal. And that's okay. What's personal is how you leave. It's the how. Don't be disrespectful because we're not on that. I told you from the beginning of the year, whatever energy you want, I'm on. Yes, sir. That's what I said. So if you come to me with respect, I'm going to respect you. But as soon as you get out of pocket, don't send it. You don't want it. It ain't about being the baddest. It's about being speaking the truth. People that are so swift to get to foolishness. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's that? <clears throat> Yeah, I have a problem with you. He likes you. He likes me. All right? Yeah. So we fall out. Mm -hmm. Don't run to nothing. Come on. I like that. Don't, even, don't bring me in. Don't call me. I don't want to run. Because you don't know why God separated Paul and Barnabas. Wow. May have to do something with Timothy. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What's, his, what's Timothy? Eunice? Anus? What's the, what her name is? Timothy's, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Why are you doing it like that? <laughs> you got to, you're laughing. I messed up. No pride. I said the wrong thing. Ennis! Ennis! Not Anus. Whoop, stop it. Stop it, whoop. He left. He left. All right, so so move on. Then go ahead, babe. Yeah, I'm, I'm, let me get through this. A false witness that speaks lies. A false witness that speaks lies. They all, they don't never tell the truth of the matter. They gotta trump it up to make them look good. Oh yeah. 
Did somebody just pick that up? Yeah. Y'all saw me walking over it on purpose. Like I'm gonna trip on it. Yeah. Who got it? Tracy. Oh, y'all didn't say that. Throw it back, Tracy. Please, I want you to have that. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall over that. <laughs> have I failed yet? No. But y'all keep looking at it, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right, read, babe. And he that sows discord among the brethren. That's the one I want to get to, too. Sowing discord amongst the brother. All right, Avery, where y'all at? Avery, come here, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, sir, sir. And the musicians, come on. Okay. Okay. All right, you don't need to stick. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't lying no more. So praise God. Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> right, stick. Yeah. All right, come on, move quick. Brittany, what's a good song they can sing? Come on. What's a good, no, what's a good song they can play? Uh, yeah. Who said that? <laughs> go ahead. Jesus wept. I go. Jesus wept. In elementary, dropped on misery. Let me alone, grew it up and I'm alone. Me, grew it up alone, I'm about to the rest. Until I got that dull light tattered on my chest. Can you feel it? Stop right there. That's the score. I do. I love you, Jesus. <laughs> I love you, Jesus. I'm not in line with nothing they're doing. Go ahead. I love you, Jesus. <laughs> Throw it like, do it like tatted on my chest. How many can hear the word? Don't sing it. Sing in your head. Somebody that liked to sow discord, they'd be like, that boy is insane. For those of us who know notes, progression, dynamics, theory, we know how atmosphere, room, we knew that was off. Why when people are on one accord and in agreement, God said, I hate people that disrupt that. When people are making progression, yeah. getting things done, challenge the, challenging the enemy on all fronts, moving and shaking, buying land, and colonizing this place for the kingdom of God. Yeah. Then you got someone that will come in so disloyal. In this tribe, in this tribe, if someone come against your tribe, and it's now it's not, different things are misunderstanding. I don't understand, but you can tell when someone is like, you know, I just don't understand, Pastor. <laughs> Notice they don't go to certain people with that. Go to the people that love me and say, I don't understand that. See what the heaven happened then. It's going to be a cold conversation, and now they're going to find something wrong with the person that loves me or love me. You know you saw in discord when you try to connect to the weakest person and form alliance and get something that you protest against. For no reason at all. God said, I can't stand that. 
if a person is thinking right, they're going to talk right. Yeah. And then it's going to come on somebody, yeah? It's going to give way to some good actions. But it's, it's ain't it funny how people that's not thinking right try to sound right and think we don't see them? <laughs> you ever heard a Chinese person get mad and try to cuss in English? <laughs> they don't know how to structure. You hurry up! Play! Get out now! <laughs> but if they were in their native language, they could get you. Amen? So in this ministry, let's endeavor to keep the peace and the unity amongst each other. If someone comes to you with some gossip, some that's going to destroy us, especially in the inner workings of us. Yeah. If you don't like Laura, go to Laura. Right. You don't like Precious, go to Precious. Yeah. You don't like Brandon, go to them. But don't go to <laughs> everybody in the church gonna be like. You don't like if you if you don't like Avery, you don't like Avery, go to him. And don't go on the strength like you some gangster. You may not get the energy you want. Go in there with a sense of pride and be like, you know what? I'm gonna speak my truth. I'm gonna be like, I, I was telling a person, and I'm just using this in a quote, because that's the last one. I said, right? I'm telling a person, I said, I, I don't like how you're doing it. They didn't hear that. They just heard I don't bite. And it led into get to off the property. I'm talking about some lady came out there and she was like just adamant about doing me a certain kind of way. And one thing Reggie has learned in 2021 is to love me some men. I take control of the, the toxic toxicity levels in my life. I ain't gonna have, I ain't gonna have that. <clears throat> It's going to be all positive. So when you try to bring where you came from, I don't know what you own, and try to bring it in here and try to take me with what you got, I don't like that. Don't do it. That's what I kept saying. Don't do that. And you're going to force the issue? That's mental rape. That's you raping my being. You enter into me illegally. I don't want that. And when I say I don't want it, how can you, how, you after saying you don't want that, that's so nice. After a while, what does it do? It escalates, especially when you in on on in my atmosphere in in my temperament. You know there's something, Pastor Richard. Never come to your house in disrespect. Never have. I will never come to your. If you tell me to take your shoes off and I I'm got feet and stuff and I don't want nobody to see my feet, I'm be like, uh, I'll be back. But if that's your rules, I'm not going to go in there just, now what? No, I'm going to obey the rules you set for your house. Yeah. I can't go up in your refrigerator. What you going to do, number one or number two? Mm. Look at those people over here clapping at this one place. Come on, y'all ain't clapping hard enough. Amen. Baby, we got any announcements? It's offering time. Prepare your offer. Any questions, any comments while we prepare the offer? Yes, ma'am. Little pipe. Come here, let me show you something. Go in there, go right there and turn that light on and off. That light, turn it on and off. There you go. Turn it off. Yeah. I'm all up. Turn it on. So. Yeah, pull it down. There it is, right there. You see that right there? Now turn it back on. That's beautiful. Right? Did that mute that keyboard play? That's beautiful. Right? And uh, I'm gonna tell you, uh, on Wednesday night, uh, Avery, we need to do something with these y'all. Let them get up there on the instrument, see what their gifts are. All the young people we got in the house, let them see what their gifts are and start working. Okay, y'all? Amen. All those beautiful instruments and stuff up there, we we take the tithe and offering the money, and we pay for lights, 
so you can have a beautiful place of worship when you come. When you fly, you come in the dark. Right? You come in here and we're in the dark. Right? So we take up that money to uh, fund the kingdom, pay for the lights, good things that we want to do. That's part of the reason why. It's not to get money out of people. Come on, say yes, Lord. Amen. 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 So I have a couple of announcements. We have 22 days left of our fast. Woo! Everybody's doing a great job. Thank you guys for your support and your interaction, especially on our Billions um, Facebook page. That's amazing. On the May 22nd, just keep in mind that Pastor is going to need the whole team of men to go with him to Charlotte to set up the big tent for the tent revival, which is going to be that next week. So the 22nd, which is a Saturday, um, you guys will get together and go to Charlotte. And then on the 27th and 28th, um, Pastor will be preaching a tent revival in Charlotte. Um, Elder Ford, who is actually Sharika's mom, she is the person that's overseeing and that's conducting the tent revival. So we're really excited for that. And then on the 29th is um, Anthony's evening where he's going to be playing um, in North Carolina. What's the name of that city? Marion. Marion. Marion in Marion, North Carolina. So. You got it on your page. Okay, so it's on his Facebook page. So we're going to be supportive of that. And I think um, Aunt got a birthday. Your birthday again, Anthony? Tomorrow. Anthony's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. <laughs> Who can do a uh, no vegan cake? I mean, a uh, vegan cake. Vegan ice cream. Brittany, you can do a vegan cake? Is, is there anybody in this room that we know can do stuff anybody, like that? Anybody? Y'all know anybody that can do Is there anybody we know that can sing and... And you know, and, that, and just be dynamic with baking stuff. That's all over the world, cooking for everybody except for us. Anybody know? You, you know anybody that can sing and cook and make threads time. and make threads and take photos and <laughs> amen, get married and all kind of stuff like that. You know. Anybody in this room over up in here, this area right here? Anybody right up in there? Good. excited for them. I'm happy for them. Uh, you know, there's nothing, I don't feel nothing. I want them to be married. Amen. I want them to enjoy life. Amen. Because I've discovered after you hate marriage and you hold on and God fix it, you won't love that thing. Talk, talk to you. Go! You had to turn her head with it. Sicily, honey, Sicily. Sicily, Sicily. We bought a dress yesterday. Oh, what's here? We bought a dress yesterday. Yes. I told him I don't want to see it right now. I know. I just I don't do me like that. I'll try. You know the first thing Kayla said when she found the dress that she loved? She yeah. said, Daddy really gonna cry. Yeah. Don't even I don't even want to take my mind to I can't even think about that right now. <clears throat> but Lauren, baby, baby, uh, Shower. Oh yes, the baby shower is June uh, June the 5th, which is a Saturday, June 5th. I need all of us out there. It's a party experience. We're going to throw the ball, I'm going to grill, we're going to cook out. We can eat there, okay? You can eat there. That's why I need all of us here, okay? To go to the uh, uh, to the baby shower. That baby is getting ready. To, he, he's stretching out while we, while we in here tonight. Today. And also, you know, a uh, a good a, a, uh, uh, how do I put this? Uh, 
here today is my nephew traveled all the way, drove all the way in his car from Ohio. And we, yep, to see his uncle, not his parents. <laughs> he came to see me, that what he did. Yes, he did. And we give it up for KJ, amen? <laughs> college, in college, doing well. Amen. We're, we're so very proud of you. Amen. Proud of you. He graduates this year. Graduate this year. Amen. Amen. He's moving back. He's going to be the pastor of the church. Me and Terry going and join the circus. <laughs> Amen. Well, praise God. I just, too, before we move on, I just want to say for me and Pastor, happy Mother's Day to every single mother in here. All right. Yeah, Nobody amen. knows. Nobody knows the love of a mother like another mother does. Mm -hmm. So happy Mother's Day. Thank you all for your sacrifice. Thank you for trying to raise your children in the right way. Thank you for having to work and pray and cry and do all those things that we do as mothers. You guys are appreciated. Hey, uh, all of y'all, we have something to give to a mother. Give it to them right now. Let's do this. You got any Hey guys, and on behalf of the church and the, and the leadership team and our senior pastors, Pastor Rich, Pastor Terry, we have we have roses for all the mothers. So, mothers, come up, get your rose. Rose for a mother. Mother for a mother. 